Tom and I just spent a couple of days in Asheville, North Carolina, and now we're driving back to New Jersey and made it a point to stop at the Factory Antique Mall in Vernon, Virginia. It happens to be the largest antique mall in the country. So let's go see what they have. I like this alien. When you first walk in, the registers are up front, you'll see a full record store on the right side, and there are toys and collectibles on display. The mall is 140,000 square feet, so the aisles are organized by streets so you know where you are. They have everything from lady head vases, to classic horror novels, to Ninja Turtle action figures, to military fatigues, and even Hot Wheels. They have a lot of Fenton glass pieces when you first walk in. Compotes and vases. They have so many of these moon and stars, apothecary jars. I love the opalescent vases and pictures. By Fenton with that hot with the hobnail glass pattern. Some Fenton cats. Some Christmas things. Fenton shoes. Check out all this uranium glass they have here. And uranium jewelry. As you walk the aisles, you'll see each vendor's booth caters to a different variety of antiques. I love little skunks. Oh, these are cute. Souvenir of Hancock, Maryland. are adorable. Oh, I love these lettuce heads. Mm. Okay, I already got vegetable salt and pepper shakers this trip, so I don't think I need any more, but I do appreciate that they're there. We've got a bunch of hen on nest pieces. I love these old Fisher Price toys. I had this cash register. The family farm and the circus train. Oh, this dog. They've got a lot of estate jewelry, some mirrors and pillboxes, a collection of mini pictures, Lots of glass organized by color, which is pretty satisfying to look at. I love this booth of all the fiesta wear. Plates and dishes and bowls, mugs. Some serving pieces. The colors are just so pretty. This booth has a couple of Viking glass pieces here on the table. Unique color, three-footed bowl, and this leaf pattern Viking dish. They're asking 34 for that one and 69 for the blue unique one. They've got this living room set up here and this two-piece sideboard for the glass top and the bottom. They're asking 2200 teak wood and then all throughout they have these beautiful art glass pieces some vases a viking apothecary jar i love the shape of this green apothecary jar an empoli bubble decanter in amber bischoff pinched pitchers and this is another empoli apothecary jar i really like the shape on that one uh, they're asking 49 dollars for that and I really love this table lamp with this fiberglass lampshade. It's in really good shape. And this whole bottom piece is bronze and wood and then bronze again. Oh, 
Oh, they're asking $109 for that. I think that's a really good price. This end table is nice. Modulus three-legged table. They're asking $149. Take a look at this. It's a booth from Blanco, the glass company located out of West Virginia. It says right here they've been in operation since 1893 and they still are producing glass today. It seems that a lot of these pieces are uh, newer Blanco and it's really good to see that they still are making art today. I really like that blue crackle picture in the back. That is so tall. They're asking $109 for that. It's really beautiful. There's not too many glass blowing companies out there anymore. This entire booth is Pyrex. I love how it's displayed. I like this yellow footstool. They have costume and dress sewing patterns. And more Pyrex here. Lots of kitchenware. Baking dishes. Corel. More Pyrex. I guess I'm dressed for the occasion because they have a huge amount of cassettes, including a lot of these hair metal. I picked up this rat EP from 83 and a few other tapes from Warrant. I found this random pop art portrait of Chris Cornell. And uh, it's marked self portrait canvas print $14.99. You think Chris made it? I loved how this section was set up with classic toys and vintage board games and original movie memorabilia. There's enough here to unlock memories for every type of collector. Whether you're into tin lunchboxes or cardboard movie displays, there's lots of nostalgia to take in. Check out these thick classic horror posters. As with every item in this place, you're not just gonna find one of it. No, no, you'll find Rose, yes you will. Tons of ornaments, and salt and pepper shakers, and other Christmas figurines, ceramic Christmas pieces. And over here they've got a couple ceramic trees. It's three pieces, this being one up to here, and this is like an additional branch to make it even taller. And then the base. It's got these really cute bulbs. They're different than what you usually say. $15 for that little pixie. Pine slabs. Looks like some old barn equipment and tools. License plates and signs and car related things, hubcaps. I've got some milk glass pieces here. Hey, it's the California Raisins. We're making our way to the exit and luckily the arrows on the floor help point us in the right direction. Today I'm going home with a couple cassette tapes and it was fun to walk around what felt like a museum of random artifacts. It was definitely a worthwhile stop to kill a couple hours and get your steps in. That's it, thanks for coming along.